Duino Elegies by Rainer Maria Rilke, translated by Vita Sackville West and Edward Sackville West. The Sixth Elegy. Long is it now since I was made aware how you, O oh fig tree, in despite of flower, thrust your pure mystery home into the fruit, which takes its final shape in early bud before maturity has reaped its praise. A fountain's throat, your bended branch drives up against the stream of sap, and out of sleep, leaping with consciousness not yet awake, enters the bliss of its most graceful act. Thus did the god take on his swan-like form. But we, alas, linger, our blossoms flatter us, until at length we drive ourselves betrayed into the core, sullen and long delayed, of our fruit itself. The throng of action urges but a few so strongly that they hesitate and wait to glow in their heart's fullness when desire of flowering, mild breath of fragrant night, touches their eyelids and their youthful lips. Heroes, perhaps, and those whom fastidious death has chosen early, distorting otherwise their convoluted veins, these hasten past in front of their own smile, as that proud team of horses runs before the vanquisher in Karnak's shallow anaglyph. And he, the hero, marvellously near to the youthful dead, is not concerned to stay. Existence is for him the ascent. He wanders continually away to move among his ceaseless danger's varied constellation. There few may find him, but in sudden joy, fate, who to us is silent and obscure, sweeps him away with her impassioned song into the mounting storm rush of her world. I shall hear none like him. His darkened note pierces my body in the streaming air. Then how fain would I hide myself from longing. Might I once more take on my boyish form, seated and leaning in the future's arms, and read of Samson how his mother's womb first gave birth to nothing, then to all. Was he not hero, even in the body of you, his mother? Was it not even there, in you, he entered on his lordly choice? Myriad were they who surged within your womb, and would be he, but lo, he seized the chance, broke from within your body, chose, and prevailed. When he laid low the pillars, he found escape from out your body to a narrower world, there to achieve an ampler victory. O oh, mothers of heroes, source of rapid streams, you cloven gorges into which lamenting daughters the future sacrifice to your son from the heart's edge on high have thrown themselves. He rested not in stations of his love, but hastened stormily through all, each one, each beat of the heart secret to him alone, lifted him out and on, until, at last, so soon averted from the world he knew, he came to a standstill at the long smile's end, transformed. <laughs>